This video is the second in a series covering Circuit Builder in AutoCAD Electrical. The first video covered how to use Circuit Builder, and now I want to talk about customizing it. To start customizing Circuit Builder, you need to understand the spreadsheet and the circuit templates. They work together to define what is shown on the dialog and how to build the circuit. In this video, I'll show how they work together to define what is shown on the dialog. If you're not sure how to find the spreadsheet, the path and name are at the top of the circuit selection dialog box that comes up when you start Circuit Builder. You should make a copy of the spreadsheet before you start changing it. The spreadsheet has a number of worksheets. The ACE underscore CIRCS worksheet controls the circuit selection dialog. The category field is the highest level of the tree. As you can see, the six values in the category field correspond to the six main circuit types. The type field defines the circuits within each category. So you can see for the three-phase motor circuit, there are four circuit types in the spreadsheet, and you can see those on the dialog box. The drawing template field defines which circuit template to use when that circuit is built. The sheet name field provides the name of the worksheet that's used to define the circuit elements for each circuit. I can edit an existing value, save it, and then the next time I run Circuit Builder, I can see the change. I can add a new category and circuits within that category. Now, if I selected them, they're not going to insert because I haven't defined enough yet. We're just talking right now how to change what is shown on the dialogs. So now I'm going to open the template drawing for this circuit. And I'm going to change to the circuit codes worksheet for this circuit. The circuit template has a bunch of blocks on it that I'll call marker blocks. The marker block tells Circuit Builder that at this position on the circuit, do something. And that something is defined in the spreadsheet. What they do will be covered in a later video, but these do affect what is shown on the dialog. Now each marker block has a code attribute, and the value on that attribute is what links the marker block and the spreadsheet. And each marker block has an order attribute value, which tells Circuit Builder what order to process these marker blocks in. The order value can be a decimal or a whole number. The decimal just makes it easy to add one in the middle without reordering the rest. To make it easier to see, I've created a table of all the code and order values on this template drawing. Since I'm only talking about how this is related to what's shown on the dialogs, I've highlighted all the ones that show up on the circuit configuration dialog. Now the reason they show up is because they have values in the UI title field in the spreadsheet. What I'm showing here in this table is how they work together. On the marker block, we have the code value and that same code value in the spreadsheet. And the comments field from the spreadsheet is what's shown in the dialog. When I pick one of the circuit elements on the dialog, the options for that are shown in the middle. If there are multiple options for one circuit element, the UI title value is what separates those options, and it's used as the label for that option. The values in the UI prompt list column for that option become the choices on the dropdown. Now finally, let's look at how the defaults are defined. Let's say for this main disconnect you almost always use fuses. To change the default, just move the X in the UI def column to the same row as the fuses option, and make sure you save your spreadsheet changes. Next time you run Circuit Builder, Fuses are the default for the main disconnect. The other options are still there. You can still select them, but fuses would be used if you don't pick something different. This video showed you how to modify the spreadsheet to control the options shown on the dialogs. So the next video will show how the spreadsheet and circuit templates actually build the circuit. So stay tuned.